Welcome! You're viewing the video version of the Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary for April 24, 2016. Market Breadth With this past week's market fractional decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 2.05 fell from 2.14 last week, remaining within strongly bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 4% to 3,250. The count of bearish stocks increased 7%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 3%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now seven weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Open Office Calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. To receive the weekly email version of the Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary free of charge, simply enter your email address in the space provided. The well-known market breadth indicator the Nasdaq McClellan Summation Index rose 123 points for the ninth advance in 10 weeks. At a positive 512.07 points, it is now above all tops within the last three years. It has risen above the January 2014 and March 2014 tops and continues above the June 2014 the November 2014 and February 2015 tops and below the two additional tops above plus 100 and continues above all six bottoms below minus 100 in the last three years. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in distribution mode with average daily volume higher than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had two accumulation days and three distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week also, the NASDAQ ended in distribution mode, but on lower average daily volume. Momentum. Now at a positive 16.47, the CCI 20 daily fell from a positive 128.34 last week and is now within the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject long entry signal if the CCI 20 rises in the next few days. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's downtrend 10 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend eight weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly continues in a Woody's downtrend now, with five consecutive weeks above zero, it rose last week to 68.02 from a positive 56.84, continuing outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject short entry signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are negative. Summary. Banking and oil on top. Tech on the bottom. Bullish. KBW Banks has entered the top five. Brokers has entered the top five. Networkers has left the bottom five. Gold and silver has left the top five. Bearish. Computer hardware, disk drives, and comp tech continue in the bottom five. Oil and oil services continue in the top five. REITs has entered the bottom five.
Focus this week from www.zerohedge.com. Bitcoin snaps, surges to fresh 2016 highs on sudden burst of buying. Just three days ago, on April 21st, when looking at the technical picture behind the recent Bitcoin price action, having covered the extremely favorable fundamentals last September, when it was trading at half its current price. We asked if Bitcoin is about to soar. We were focusing on the bullish pennant formation, which suggested a breakout to the upside was imminent. Moments ago, we got the answer when soar is precisely what Bitcoin did when following a burst of high volume buying, the digital currency spiked higher by over 4% to a price of $470, hitting fresh 2016 highs. After the Chinese started buying gold and silver last week following the launch of the Shanghai Gold Fix, as reported here, is the wholesale bid finally moving into the best way of avoiding capital controls available to several million Chinese? Thank you for tuning in for this week's Santu Pearls Stock Market Commentary, featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart, compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. Hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you're looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, and wishing you true success.